Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, no, Tuesday, March 7th. A new report from Vanda Research shows that individual investors are buying Tesla stocks at a record pace. Those individuals bought just short of $17 billion worth of stock back in 22, which at the time was a record. But now, just over two months into 23, Vanda Research reports that individual investors have already bought over $13 billion worth of Tesla. Now, why is this happening? At Electric, we have a few thoughts to share. With Gigafactory Berlin and Texas now ramping to volume production, investors could be expecting Tesla to deliver a record number of vehicles in the first quarter. It could also be investigative investments after announcements from Investor Day last week. The presentation received mixed reviews. Many were disappointed of the lack of significant news or announcements, but others were impressed by Tesla bringing a significant change to vehicle manufacturing with the next-generation vehicle platform. Of course, we'll have to wait and see, because at Electrek, our crystal ball works just as well as everyone else. Rivian plans to raise $1.3 billion in cash by selling green convertible notes, despite indicating that it had sufficient cash in last week's earnings. Investors aren't terribly pleased with the move, as Rivian stock has been slipping over 10% following the announcement. Although the EV startup isn't in desperate need of cash right now, Rivian does have a full plate this year as it ramps up production of the R1 and RCV platforms while developing its next-generation R2 architecture, which is slated to arrive in 2026. The company has already made a series of moves to conserve cash, including laying off 6% of its workforce earlier this year and reducing operating costs in the fourth quarter. Rivian stock has tumbled in the past year, though the company remains confident in building 50,000 vehicles in 2023. Ford is celebrating one year of its all-electric e-transit vans. As they have hit the road with a slew of encouraging statistics, Ford has been collecting data. Drivers have already completed more than 12 million miles in North America, and Ford is claiming victory by saving over 745,000 gallons of gas that would have been used otherwise. As the best-selling electric van on multiple continents, Ford shared that the e-transit currently accounts for approximately 61% of the entire electric van market. Ford is now targeting an annual production increase of 38,000 on the wings of a $95 million investment that includes the addition of 1,100 union jobs. Those production increases are expected to begin growing as early as next month. This week's episode is sponsored by SAE International, hosts of the WCX World Congress Experience event. For 2023, WCX is set to return to Detroit from April 18th to 20th at Huntington Place. As the largest technical mobility event in North America, WCX brings together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and mobility professionals to exchange ideas, discuss today's challenges, and build powerful relationships to move your career and the industry forward. Join the global mobility community in the Motor City this April to stay up to date on the latest technological advances, participate in roundtable discussions, and network with the brightest minds in the industry. Gain a competitive advantage and meet the people shaping the future of mobility. Visit wcx.sae.org to register now. General Motors has shared more details of their upcoming next-generation Ultra Cruise ADAS technology. The current software, called Super Cruise, has impressed many in the industry, including some of us at Electrek. Vehicles equipped with the Ultra Cruise will feature over 20 different sensors, including long-range and short-range cameras, radars, and LiDAR. They also have advanced driver monitoring systems. General Motors says that it will arrive as a level 2 system, though they intend to increase the system's capabilities with over-the-air updates, and expand eventually into many different domains in which EVs can drive safely. You can let me know if that sounds familiar. The automaker states that Ultra Cruise has been designed to eventually enable hands-free driving in 95% of all driving situations, and will inevitably become accessible on nearly every paved road, city, suburban street, and subdivision in the U.S. and Canada. The technology will debut on the upcoming premium Cadillac Celestique EV in early 2024, although the exact capabilities deployed at that time remains to be determined. 
Volkswagen Group has announced a revised target for its EV sales goal for Europe in 2030. Thomas Ulbrich, who leads Volkswagen's passenger car's new mobility business, recently shared the revised target is now 80%, up from 70% originally laid out in the 2021 Accelerate strategy. This will include Audi, Skoda, and Seat slash Cupra as well. For the USA and China, EV sales will remain at 50% by the same year. Canoe has found its latest client in Schindler Elevator Corporation, a leading global elevator and escalator services provider. Schindler has announced that it has intended to add 50 of the Canoe EVs to its fleet. Schindler CEO Ray Bisson said that he understands the company like ours play a critical role around climate change. He also added that deploying these Canoe EVs will bring us one step closer to a low-carbon future. The elevator services company claims to be the first in the industry to commit to using light-duty EV vans in the U.S. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Rick Shinta says, Fisker just showed the Alaska sketch, which is based on the ocean platform. If they can make that happen, it's pretty good looking. Yeah, that Alaska truck actually looks pretty cool. I was interested in the Fisker Ocean, but it simply didn't hit the market in time. I will be watching the Ocean SUV with interest, considering that it's being made from Magna, and perhaps if it performs well, then a Fisker truck could be in my future. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.